Why do women cheat? Do you want to learn exactly why a woman will cheat on her husband or boyfriend? And more importantly, do you want to learn how to prevent it? Well, that's exactly what we're going to go over in today's video. Some of the things I'm about to tell you will definitely make you dislike this video. So stick with me until the end and save your relationship. You can't get it up. Reason number one, you can't get it up. Think about that for a second. Modern society tries to convince you that she cheated on you because you were disrespectful. You did not take out the garbage frequently enough. That's why she's cheating. You didn't get her that handbag for Christmas. That's why she's cheating. You don't give her enough attention and you play video games all day. That's why she cheated on you. No, none of that counts nearly as much as your chemistry in the bedroom. And because the bedroom dynamic is a microcosm for so many things, unconsciously health-wise, behaviorally, to give you a firmer grasp of exactly why that's a problem. First of all, it conveys an unconscious message that you're weak, low value, probably a porn addict, and unhealthy. And from an entirely evolutionary perspective, both men and women choose partners who are healthy and will give birth to children who are also healthy. Therefore, when a man is with his woman and unable to get a boner or move in that direction, it indirectly tells her that he is weak and women may not genuinely think things through with great consciousness. It's an innate underlying feeling, what many ladies would consider to be an ick these days, and she just feels disgusted and sick as a result of this behavior. Now, point number three is going to explain in a lot more detail and specificity why this is such an important problem to fix. But before we go to the next point, subscribe to this channel for the algorithm. We are and will continue to provide value and knowledge to all men around the world. Blow your load too quickly. Point number two, you don't last long. What message does this convey to her subconsciously? It conveys that you're anxious and perhaps even intimidated by her attractiveness, which further suggests that you may have subconsciously elevated her and put her on a pedestal. To be brutally honest, if a woman can put her man on a pedestal and look up to her man and respect her man, well, that's a man that she's incredibly attracted to and has unwavering desire for. But what if the dynamic is reversed and the man is putting her on a pedestal through all these little micro expressions, one of which manifests in the bedroom as premature ejaculation because he sees her as so exciting and stimulating that he cannot even control his own body and emotions. That tells her subconsciously, maybe I can find a better partner, but this is redeemable. If you happen to ejaculate very quickly, it's fine. If you can go right back into the second round, that's your approach to solving the problem. But it's heavily influenced by two factors. The first is your ability to obtain and maintain strong erections. Second, your sex drive and how short your refractory period is, which is the amount of time it takes you to recover between orgasms. If those two things are under control, this isn't such a big deal. You bust quickly, but you can go right back into round two and last a little longer. Point number three, you can't make her have an orgasm. Do I mean you have to sacrifice your entire self-esteem and self-worth in order to get your woman off? That is not what I mean, but here's the key point. I frequently hear the argument that female orgasm is meaningless because it is not required for reproduction. Although that statement is correct, here is the reason and significance of female orgasm. When a woman orgasms, her body is flooded with oxytocin. Her bonding is caused by oxytocin. These factors are critical to sustaining a strong, long-lasting and happy relationship. A relationship won't last very long if a woman is unable to experience an oxytocin dump, bond with you and ultimately fall in love. She's going to be trying to find all these sort of superficial and conscious reasons to stick around. But there's going to be a persistent nagging feeling in the back of her mind. And there's going to be a subconscious voice in the back of her mind 
telling her, you're not really in love with this guy. This is not going to be successful. Probably best to look for someone else. Generally, a female orgasm takes much longer than a male orgasm, unless you have some tricks up your sleeve. That basically means that in order to assist her in getting that orgasm in the first place, you're going to need to learn how to hold on a little longer and maintain a stronger, longer lasting direction. It's also critical to realize that women who have experienced multiple sexual partners typically release less oxytocin during orgasms. So that means that they're less pair bonded to each individual partner and thus are more likely to seek out new and different partners. Point number four, you cannot make her feel and help her tap into her feminine. If she is the one in charge of all the plans and the one under constant pressure to make decisions and choices, then that places her in a masculine state of mind and with a manly energy. A woman never chooses where she wants to be with her partner. She desires to embrace her femininity. She wants to be able to relax and, most importantly, feel safe enough to let you, the man, take charge and assume responsibility. She respects you because she feels safe, which is what she wants to feel. If she has faith in you to make the right decisions, to take command, and for other reasons, she wants to avoid constantly being tense and anxious. Basically, she just wants to be able to turn off her mind and trust her partner with handling situations, handle everything, and that is when she feels safest, when she's with a man that she knows can take care of her and everything around you. Now, if you want the solution to this problem, then comment down below if we should make a video on it. By watching these videos, it's clear you're someone who's eager to improve, and that's worthy of admiration. You've already demonstrated the willpower and the desire for self-improvement. What you need now is a clear path. We're offering a valuable resource, a free secret ebook written by Tristan Tate. This ebook contains exclusive knowledge on how to attract women effectively, no matter the circumstances. It delves into the art of seduction, understanding female nature, and dating as a comprehensive whole. This is just the groundwork for you to become a player in the dating realm. You don't lack motivation. You just lack the knowledge and trust in the path that you're taking. You can either continue on an aimless journey that leads nowhere, or take action by clicking the link in the description below.